Hello YouTube, I'm back again. I know it's been a while since I've done a video. Just been really busy, you know, with life and stuff. Just uh, doing all kinds of stuff. Just, yeah, just busy, 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 busy. <laughs> and that's one of those times in life where people just get busy. So, but I finally found some time now to make a video here. And I'm going to be um, probably doing some more videos soon, hopefully. Uh, but this first one is uh, something I just picked up. This is a Asus Transformer Pad. I uh, just picked it up at Best Buy. So, I'm going to go ahead and do an unboxing. And see what goodies we get inside. Okay, so, here's the box. Not really much on the box. It doesn't really say any specs or anything. So, well, actually, yeah, it does right here. Um, got an Intel processor, um, Atom, Intel Atom processor, 16 gigs of storage, uh, 802.11 Wi-Fi, ABGM, Bluetooth 4.0, 1 gig of RAM, 16 gigs of storage. Yep, so let's open the box. And there it is. Pulled it out. It's in its little plastic wrapping. Then, of course, you get power adapter and charging cable. Comes standard with everything you get nowadays. And let's take a look at the actual tablet itself. It's a 10.1 inch tablet. So, let's go ahead and take it out of this little. Ooh, they make that easy. Sleeve here, and there we go. And here it is. So on the back, it has a nice soft touch material. Dual speakers, I already noticed. One here, one here. So when you hold it this way, behind you, it's stereo sound. Uh, I believe that's a 3 megapixel camera on the rear. I think it's a 0.3 megapixel on the front, not even a full megapixel, but tablets are never really have amazing cameras. So, you got a 10.1 inch 1280 by 800 display. This is for the optional keyboard dock on the bottom there, volume rocker, power button, uh, charging port, micro USB of course, headphone jack. Let's go ahead and power it up. There we go. Powered by Android. Android 4.4.2 to be exact. I haven't heard anything about Lollipop on here yet. But I'm sure it should be updated. Since it's a fairly new model, I'm sure it should be updated. There's Intel inside. On it. it boots up pretty quickly. give it a second of course the one time I say it boots up quickly it boots up slow okay there it is <laughs> all right and it's already telling me I have an external storage in it. okay so very very sharp screen screen and I have set it up and been playing with it so extremely sharp even though it's only 1280 by 800 it's an extremely sharp bright vibrant screen and let's see brightness is set all the way up yes so and it's very bright and vibrant I may have to turn that down some for the video though so you guys can actually see what's on the screen here so there we go I mean even up close I can't really see very many pixels. Okay, that's too close. <laughs> but yes, it's a very nice tablet indeed. 
you got your notification center, you hit this button, you got all your quick settings, Oop. or if you just drag down from the, depends on what side you drag down from. Um, it has, uh, like I said, Intel Atom processor, it's very quick. So, there's no lag, I haven't seen any lag in this. It's very fast and fluid, as you can tell, just from scrolling through here. Um, let's go on the, see, apps load quickly. Go on like an article here, that's very quick and very nice. Some do take a little while. If it's a big, like a big full review like this, it'll take a few seconds. But yes, it is very nice. I know I keep saying it's very nice, but it is. It's a nice camera. You got your standard buttons. This has ASUS's um, Zen UI. So. It's not stock Android, but it's not a lot of, um, it's not a heavy UI. Um, so, let's see, uh, where do I want to check? About phone. There we go. On the bottom. Or about device. It's not a phone. It's a tablet. <laughs> Android 4.4.2 right there. Kit Kat. So, there you go, Android 4.4.2. Get all the Kit Kat goodness. So, let me go back out of here. Okay. Um, so, in terms of battery life, seems pretty good. Go to settings, battery here. Been on battery for about four hours, four and a half hours, and we're down to 61%. That's fairly decent. Screen on time has been about two hours and 13 minutes, so fairly decent um, screen on time for that battery life. You got your weather app and widget right here. You got um, all you know the app market, of course. All the apps you could ever dream of. And uh, that's it for this unboxing and first look, first impressions. Uh, full review will be coming soon as I get to use it, you know, more. Also, I have a um, couple of more videos I think I'm going to be doing very soon of other things I've recently acquired. You know, Paul, whatever you. <laughs> yeah. So, like I said, this is not good. This is not just a, about technology. It's about anything that I think is worth making a review on. So, who knows what you'll see in the future. <laughs> so, thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.